Conclusions on criminality. As a preface, it might be thought bizarre to observe that if forced organ harvesting by a state or state approved body was established by strong evidence in a court of jurisdiction covering individual or state responsibility, and that court were to say that for some technical reason, the case could not be pursued, that would be bizarre. On hearing that, the citizen would realize that the world order offered her or him no protection through legal processes and that impunity was fully in place in the state concern. The clear reality is that once any court is seized of such evidence as being available to this tribunal, it would know it had to find jurisdiction to act in accordance with its statutes and rules because to do otherwise would have it condemned. This certainty is one that confronts uninvolved states around the world. Wherever they are faced with strong evidence of the criminality of other states, they would prefer never to have to refer such evidence to legal authorities, manifesting denial of David Kilgour's inconvenient truth. Once facts as grave as those alleged and accepted here do reach a proper court, then that court will find a way to act. The issue will always be how to get a case to a court and then which crime or crimes to be charged. 